Hi guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to the Pride of Villa. Today I thought I'd provide you guys with a transfer update from this week as of the 27th of March 2020. We're going to look at the three biggest stories that have concluded, that have come out from this week and just going to give you a bit of opinions, a bit of information about it and we're just going to have a general discussion about it. So if you all enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any new content to the channel. Check out our sponsors, FatalGrips.com. They sell the latest and innovative game accessories from PS4 controller skins to Nintendo Switch controller grips. You can find it all there. If you use our discount code PRID of Villa, that's P R I D O F V I L A, you'll save 10% off all your purchases. So, yeah, make sure you check out them and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the first transfer we're going to go into is an obviously the biggest one probably coming out from Aston Villa. It is Jack Grealish to Man United. This is obviously a move that has been on the lines for um, probably a few months now. Depending on Villa's position next season, whether we are in the Premier League or not, Jack Grealish is considered a top priority by a lot of clubs. And this is especially with Manchester United. Considering how Man United's midfield right now is quite bare boned and quite lacking in you know, creativity. They've got Fred, Matic, Pogba, who they'll probably sell to afford Grealish and maybe Madison as well. There isn't much, you know, going forward. And so in thinking that in bringing Grealish in, they can probably improve that midfield because Grealish is a holding play. He's also very good at, you know, driving the ball up the pitch and giving the forwards more to work with. Um, it's really a case of, you know, how much they're willing to spend on Jack Grealish. You know, for me, he's only worth towards 80 million to 100 million. You know, he's a he's a massive future talent. He's only about 24, 25 as we're recording this. Um, you know, he's got a lot of game time ahead of him. He could really develop into a massive legend in English football. So, you know, obviously this is a big transfer I hope it doesn't happen. I think it's going to be really awkward to not see Jack Grealish in a Aston Villa shirt next season. Um, hopefully, we can stay up. We can, um, you know, keep our hold of him because he's our best player. He's crucial that he's not um, let go. But if he is to be let go, he needs to be let go for the right price. As we said, eighty to one hundred million is where he's worth. He's not like um, Harry Maguire. I don't think he's going to be as much of a disappointment or. Needs time to get going. I think Grish will hit the ground running. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a hard one to see go by. Obviously, he should be a Villa legend. I would love him to stay at the club forever. But we know he's not going to do that. His talent's wasted with us if he does stay with us. And I think if we go down to the Championship, this is going to look like an all uncertain transfer. So, yeah, make sure you keep your eyes out open for that. Jack Grealish to Man United or somewhere else we never know could be Tottenham. But, yeah, keep your eyes open for that. And let's move on to the next bit of information. So, again, the next piece of information we're going to move on to being similar on the path with Man United and, and now actually Wolverhampton Wanderers. The next transfer we've got is Jonathan McGinn or Johnny McGinn to Wolverhampton Wanderers slash Man United. I say both these clubs because over the past few weeks there's been... An interest from both of them. You know, I believe Man United want to bring in Grealish, Madison and the potential of McGinn. But then just recently we heard that you know Wolverhampton Wanderers could be going in for um, McGinn. And now McGinn for me has been one of the best signings we've made in a very long time. For only 2.5 million from Hibernia he took the jump championship ground running. He was absolutely phenomenal. Scoring one of the goals of the season for me. Um, it's really, you know, it's one of those, uh, compared with Grealish, this is one I think just shouldn't happen outright. I think he's, with the loss of Grealish, you know, our midfield is very bare-boned. You know, we've got Douglas Luiz, we've got Lansbury, we've got McGee, we've got Horahan, but it's not really striking me as the much same creativity that Jack Grealish can do. There's not enough players that are going to hold the ball like Jack Grealish. So I think with McGinn, it's crucial that he's kept... But talking about Wolverhampton Wanderers, you know, obviously they've got Ruben Neves in that midfield. They've got they've got Jao Martino, you know. So really, maybe um, begin to play a more attacking um, role in the club with Neves and Martino, Jao Martino providing more of a um, 
you know, a further backer role. But I think if Guinea is going to go, he's going to have to go for a lot of money. I think 50 million, maybe, or 40 million. Um, he's a really, really good talent. He's obviously a massive, crucial assist Aston Villa. As we're recording this, he could be coming back. For when the Premier League starts, we don't know when it's going to start. There is talks of it being cancelled. But the benefit is now he's going to be fully fit and ready for our next match. So it's crucial to see him come back in a Villa show. We can hopefully get some results back in. But maybe, you know, maybe he could be going to Wolves. Maybe he could be going to Man United. He could be joining Greece. We don't know. All we can do is keep our eyes open for this one. But let's just keep our fingers crossed that he's not going anywhere. And he's going to stay a Villa legend. So let's move on to the final piece of information. And finally, we've discussed about players going out. We're going to talk about one player coming in. The potential of the £30 million move from Marseille, the midfielder, Morgan Sanson. He's being rated as a serious priority for a lot of clubs this season. Just looking at the um, you know, the reports coming out from Birmingham Live, we've got Wolves being linked with him. We've got, Wolf, we've got Everton, we've got West Ham. And it's apparently just being noted that Newcastle are now going into him. He's 25 years old. Um... He's a good midfielder. He can work in multiple positions. He can destroy or build the team. He can, you know, he's got very good technique on the ball. Probably a bit more of a holding player, as we see with Grealish. So maybe there is the opportunity to bring him in if Grealish is to leave. Maybe we could fill that void that Grealish would be leaving. Um, he's got a strong mind. He does suffer from knee injuries. Unfortunately, he has been a bit of a recurring one. But he is able to return in his best form, as we have seen this season. Mentally, he's very strong, which we don't see a lot with players. We see a lot of players just, you know, go for the fouls, trying to win, you know, tackles that clearly look like dives. But I think with Morgan Sanson, what would be really good about him is that where Grish sometimes may fall over a bit too much, we would like to stay, him, stay on his feet a little bit more. Um, Sanson will obviously, you know, he'll show that he's really in the game. He knows when to win the tackle at the crucialist of moments. He knows that... Um, He's ambitious about what he wants to achieve with his club. And, you know, maybe with Villa he can help drive us to the next step if we are to be staying in the Premier League next season. For me personally, I think this would be a good move. I think on the field currently is lacking a bit of creativity. I know we have got Grealish and McGinn, but apart from that, we've got Douglas Luiz, who I think needs a bit more time to develop and flourish. We've got Nakambo, who's a solid defensive midfielder. But again, defensive is not really meant for you know, attacking. Um, and then apart from that, we've got Hurahan, Lansbury. Um, I think these two are just not really Premier League quality. I think they're more better suited for the Championship. So maybe we could see them departed or maybe in a swap transfer. So Moss, um, Morgan Sanson, you know, for probably about, I'd say, 20 million. And then give them the opportunity to sign Conor Hurahan and um, Henry Lansbury. Maybe that would be a good transfer. I think that wouldn't be a bad transfer. Um, I just think next season, when the window opens, we need to be looking at our wingers. We need to be looking at strengthening the midfield. And we need to be bringing in some more centre halves because I think our current setup is a bit too young and inexperienced. But that is the decision of Morgan Sanson. What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below on our poll just here. Um, I think this would be personally a good transfer. Who knows, may happen, may not happen, may increase in value, we'll never see. But that's going to round up this video for our transfer news. So there you have it guys, we just thought we'd bring you a quick little transfer update. We might be doing this weekly depending how much news um, unfolds from the next few weeks. But definitely expect to see these videos more often than never. Make sure you leave in the comments what you would like to see us produce in these following weeks. Obviously, as we're calling this, the UK is currently in lockdown. There is no football. Football... As I'm speaking about it right now, there is a good chance that the season could become null and void and we start again in late August. But who knows? We don't know. But we'll report to you as soon as we find out. So check out the description. Check out your latest news articles and our Twitter and Instagram. They'll be in the description. Make sure you check out fatalgrips.com and never miss out on the latest gaming accessories from them. Um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, turn that notification bell. Please do that. We want to broaden our following. Up the villa with the pride of villa. We'll see you later, guys.